My name is Domenico Cotroneo. I'm from Mobilab Group at Federico II University of Naples. What I'm talking about here is about the use of wireless sensor networks for building the next generation of a critical monitoring system. This volcano can be an example of a critical monitoring system where the reliability of the data is very important. So industries are still questioning the adoption of a wireless sensor network in this context because there is a lack of tools and strategies for the reliability assessment. So the work proposes a novel framework and a related tool for the reliability and performance assessment of a wireless sensor network by means of automatic generation of dependability models. The ambition here is to relieve system engineers by the deep knowledge of sensor technologies and network infrastructure. Hello, I'm Catello Di Martino and now let's take a look to the approach. The main idea behind the proposed framework is to reduce the effort needed for the assessment of WSM. In a realistic context, even if a modeling team would invest for a detailed definition of WSM model, a single change in WSM configuration, for instance new software release, different nodes, positions, etc., would probably require a new modeling phase, hence facing an affordable cost for the assessment. The framework enables the automatic generation of modeling phase and combines the Aurora Behavioral Simulator and Stochastic Activity Network Formalism. Despite, as reported in the paper, it can take into account different formalisms with a small implementation effort. To create a detailed and highly reusable model for assessment WSM is quite a difficult task. To master this complexity, the framework is equipped with a library of parametric model templates that are model skeletons that can be specialized automatically depending on the specific system to engineer. Model templates are defined once by the main expert and system engineers not need to be aware of them. They only have to customize the assessment by providing their design before the model generation phase. The behavioral simulator is then used to profile and to evaluate parameters for analytical models. WSN is then assessed through models generated automatically, reflecting users' interests and populated with realistic values for parameters. The interaction between the simulator and the sum models is managed by the framework, and more specifically by two core components, a model generator component to automate the production of the analysis model, and changes manager, which is in charge of recomputing model parameters which change over time, such as topology due to failures or recovery, hence avoiding further behavioral simulation. Finally, the sum model is used to evaluate accurate metrics of interest such as the packet delivery resiliency and the packet delivery efficiency. Hi, this is Marcello Cinque. We have applied our methodology in tool in the context of several real application scenarios. Particularly in the paper, we report two uh, application scenarios and one deals with structural health monitoring. The structure to monitor is a bridge composed of a 250 meter suspended roadway and two towers. We imagine to cover the bridge with 30 sensors uh, to measure uh, accelerometric measurements from the, the bridge. In these types of applications, the tool can be very useful to assess the dependability of the WSA and to guide engineer choices about requirements and how to configure the network. So for instance, an high-level requirement can be that the network has to deliver at least 75% of measurements to the sync node. How can an engineer configure the WSN in terms of the routing algorithm, in terms of the packet size of the 2D cycle in order to fulfill such requirements? Well, thanks to our approach, the engineer has only to specify the WSN high-level model in terms of nodes, topology and so on, and uh, the measurements you want to gather. Uh, at the end, all the rest is performed by the tool, which uh, can deliver several results. For example, in the figure you can see several measurements delivered by the tools, and one is uh, about delivery efficiency, where you can see that the best routing algorithm in this case is the reliable multi op and so on. So, in conclusion, we can say that our automated hybrid modeling is a very powerful tool and a promising one to help WSN engineers uh, who do not, do not have to focus on modeling details, but only on simulation results. These results are crucial to anticipate choices, prevent money loss and mitigate risk when using WSN for critical uh, monitoring. We warmly invite you to read the paper where you can find all the details about our approach and thank you for watching us.